This is the story of how I ended up learning three languages, Spanish, French, and English. I was born in Guatemala many years ago. As a child, I learned Spanish by immersion, little by little every day, living and doing everyday activities, including school. So 100% immersion. So I learned pretty much like everybody else learns their first language. I learned Spanish until I was 10 years old and an event in my life changed when my parents decided to move to Canada. In Canada, the two official languages are French and English. Personally, I had learned a little bit of English in Guatemala on the weekends. We went to a little private school, but it was mainly for basic English not sufficient enough to speak the language. When I arrived in Canada, I did not have the level to speak English and on the French side, absolutely zero. No vocabulary, no classes, no idea, very little reference as to what French was. So from day one in Canada, I learned by immersion. So I practiced Spanish at home with my parents, but Every day, as soon as I was outside of the house, I had to interact either in French or English. My family selected to live in Montreal, the city of Montreal in Quebec. And Montreal is a city where French is spoken very commonly. You can also speak English, but the main language is French. In school, we were in French schools. So for the first year when I came to Canada, they put us in um, a transition schools, they would say, for mainly immigrants, just to level up and have at least an introduction to French in order to be able to get into the normal school system here in Quebec. I don't remember much about that period, but I remember sessions one-on-one -on -one with the teacher, with the teacher to cover uh, vocabulary. And also we had group classes where we repeated things or, or tried to understand what the teacher was saying. But the main thing was that the professor in charge of the class only spoke French all the time. That pressure of immersion and the fact that we wanted to communicate with the teacher and with our new friends forced the, that progression and the push to learn that language. We also had English classes where also the teachers spoke only English during that period. So once I demonstrated that I had a good level in French, I got transferred to the regular school system where most of the subjects were in French. That includes, you know, science classes, mathematics, French classes, history. And the only class where we had English was English. So my English improved a lot also at the same time, but on a little slower pace because the amount of classes that we had in French was way higher compared to the English classes that we had. We also have to note here that the level of difficulty to learn French, in my opinion, is way higher compared to English. English is a much easier language to learn. So I practiced my Spanish at home with my parents, but slowly but surely I lost all my references as to written Spanish. So up to now, I speak Spanish quite well, but have trouble writing it efficiently, if I, if I, if I say so. So now what other tools or things that helped us or myself in learning French and Spanish. So at that time, internet was not as present as it is, as it is right now. So television was the main source of my progression. In Quebec, in Montreal, there were quite a few shows targeted to kids that were produced by the Ministry of Education to the intent of teaching kids, you know, vocabulary, fun activities, funny things. So we had a few shows like that in the evenings that we could watch every single day to help us absorb 
vocabulary every single day. As for the English, I improve my English through television and movies. The main shows on television in English were American shows. And here I have to take note that two series really helped me build my confidence in English and help me master the language. So the two series were Friends and Seinfeld. And Seinfeld, well, Seinfeld was quite particular because in high school, a few of my English teachers showed us shows of Seinfeld within the time assigned for the English classes because they were rich in vocabulary, very good with, you know, interactions between the characters. They had funny sequences, serious sequences, sad sequences, and in all kinds of everyday situations. Sometimes we had, you know, questions after the different episodes, or sometimes we just watch for fun the shows. But I remember very clearly that it helped me a lot to improve my accent, improve my vocabulary, and start to actually speak the language more fluently and with more confidence. My English was also improved by watching movies. Most of the movies that were shown here in Montreal were from the US. And I enjoyed way more the English version, original versions of the movies than the either subtitle or uh, translated movies in French. So I went to mostly the original scores of the movies and listen and learn English there. So following high school, I went to university in science and I went to a French university here in Montreal. So I had to, you know, push a little more my French to interact with my colleagues and my teachers. But all the science books were from the United States, therefore all in English. All the research papers were in English also. So the combination of those two environments helped me improve both my French and the English at the same time. So in order to learn Spanish, French or English, as you heard in my story, I think the fact that you learn by immersion is the best way to learn a language. Obviously, not everybody can move to Canada or move to France to learn French or, you know, go to an English spoken country and stay there for a long period of time in order to master the language. So what you can do is select situations that you want to learn, focus on the main vocabulary associated with that situation, and then find somebody who masters that language and try to have a conversation, have a conversation with that person. For example, if you want to be comfortable in a restaurant, what happens in a restaurant, how do you interact with the waiter, uh, what situations may, may happen in that restaurant, how do you talk to the people who, are, who you're eating with. So you base your vocabulary search on those situations and then when you have somebody who speaks English or speaks French, you try to have a discussion with them about that spe specific situation. And that's where you can try to build sentences, go back and forth with that person. At the beginning, you may uh, do a lot more mistakes, but you have to put yourself in that situation where you cannot use another language. You cannot use signs and you cannot do anything. You have to learn your vocabulary and try to build phrases. And that person will help you back and forth, adjust and maybe correct a little bit your phrases and help you in that conversation. I think that's the best way to improve and you do it situation by situation. It's ma it makes it more fun. Mm. I also recommend watching TV, YouTube or any type of media that you use in the language of interest. Try to listen to as much as you can. If their images at the same time as people are talking even better because you will be able to sometime recognize some words and associate it with the image and also 
start to be acquainted with the speed at which people speak. That also allows you to react and absorb the information at an appropriate pace. So the more you watch television, I recommend watching Friends, Seinfeld, re-watch the episodes until you understand what's going on. So that will help you a lot in your understanding and potentially even in your conversation once you are comfortable enough to start talking to someone. So this covers, you know, my little story of how I ended up learning three languages. Obviously, I was kind of forced. First one, Spanish. I was born in a Spanish country, in a Latin country. And after that, I was pretty much forced to learn French and English due to the environment that, that I was in. But I think if you put yourself in that type of situation, that's the best way to learn the language that you have an interest in. And um, little by little, day by day, you, get, you will get more comfortable in that progress. So that's it for the story. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's see what type of videos I will make in this channel. It's fairly new to me. So I'll adjust based on suggestions from everyone. So I hope you enjoyed this little introduction of the channel or how I ended up mastering these languages. And let's see how the channel will evolve.